Welcome to our Photography A to Z series where we are breaking down all things photography into bite-sized nuggets just for you. So today, in today's video, we're here to talk to you about autofocus. So autofocus, known as AF, is a feature on many digital cameras that will automatically adjust the focus of the lens to ensure the subject is in very sharp focus. Autofocus is a convenient feature that allows the photographer to quickly and easily capture sharp images without having to manually adjust the focus of the lens. The camera is going to use the focus points that you see when you look into your viewfinder. These focus points are what the camera will use to determine where to focus. So contrast is instrumental in achieving sharp images when using autofocus. The camera may have difficulty focusing in areas of no or low contrast. So if you're taking a close up of white lace details on a white wedding dress, your camera may have a little bit more difficulty focusing on that lace than it would um, if there was more contrast. So you'll see that higher end cameras as they get more expensive will often have more focus points and they will have more coverage across the screen. There are several different types of autofocus systems available on digital cameras, each with their own benefits and drawbacks. Some common types of autofocus includes single point AF. This type of autofocus uses a single focusing point to determine the focus of the lens. The photographer can specify exact area of the scene that they want to be in focus. Typically in this mode, you will need to press the shutter button halfway down until you lock on to focus before you can complete the capture. Your camera will may beep to indicate that the focus has been locked on. Single point AF is a good option for photographers who want precise control over their focus in their image. It's best used for static and slow moving objects such as portrait photography. Now, if you have moving subjects, especially fast moving subjects, you'll probably want to consider using continuous autofocus. So this type of autofocus is designed to track moving subjects and keep them in focus as they move through the frame. Continuous autofocus is a great option for photographers who are shooting sports or other fast moving subjects such as wildlife. Unlike single point autofocus, the camera will continue to adjust focus as the subject moves um, as long as you keep that shutter button um, pressed down halfway. So a note for Canon photographers, you may see this as AI servo. So face detection AF is another type of autofocus that uses facial recognition technology to detect and focus on human faces in the scene. Face detection AF is a convenient option for portrait photographers or anyone who wants to ensure that their subjects' faces are in sharp focus. Keep in mind, things like hats, sunglasses, they may interfere with the AI and not be able to pick up the subject and recognize the face. The last mode that we're gonna talk about um, is eye autofocus. Now we realize there are other uh, types of autofocus on there, but we are trying to keep these videos um, short and easy to get through. So we do wanna to touch on eye autofocus as this is a type of autofocus similar to face detection autofocus, but is specifically designed to focus on the eyes of the subject. Eye autofocus is a useful feature for portrait photographers who want to ensure that their subject's eyes are in sharp focus. Many cameras now also recognize animal eyes and this can be great for wildlife photography. Um, we will say that the eye uh, autofocus for uh, animals as um, maybe still under development. It can be thrown off by things such as animals with dark fur and dark eyes, but definitely is something we recommend um, playing with if, if your camera has that feature. Yeah, and they're developing this feature more robustly as we move into the future. So just something to keep your eye on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, autofocus is a convenient and useful feature for photographers of all levels as it allows the photographer to quickly and easily capture sharp images without having to manually adjust the focus of the lens. We really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe gained an understanding of autofocus. We would love to answer any questions that you have down in the comments. If there are any other photographers 
reading this who have tips they want to share with our community, we would love to see those in the comments as well. Please visit our photo gallery at forloveandcraft.com. This is where we put our images up for sale and all of our proceeds go to Feed the Hungry. So. We'd also love to have you join us by subscribing. And you can join this journey of photography A to Z. So until next time, get out there and explore. Create and, and do, do good. good. Bye. Bye, guys.